as I call on Adegoke Michael. Let your hands be rolling. Please, Adegoke Michael. Please clap for him. Clap for him. Clap for him. Round of applause for him, even as he comes on stage. Adegoke Michael is happy to be among the selected candidates to be participating in the final of New Song Challenge 2022. And he said he joined the guitar choir two years ago in the year 2020. Now, he is a strong Bible believer with what he wrote here because he said he believes that we are all conquerors because the Bible says that we are more than conquerors. So he's telling himself that I am a winner. Can you give him a round of applause, please? Panel one. Michael, I think, okay. I really want to appreciate your creativity. Thank you, sir. And I want to appreciate your person. Well, in one of your songs, if I'm not mistaken, I think the first song, I, there are some lyrics there that are not complete. They are more or less like a short phrase. I'm not satisfied with the lyrics. And in fact, there are some lyrics that I'm not even hearing. It's not glaring. Do you understand? Yes, sir. The lyrics are not clear. Please, I need to work on that. I think that's all I have for now. Thank you, sir. A round of applause for our contestant. Panel two. Yo, Brother Michael. You need to learn how to assign chord progression to your melodies. Yeah. Um, sometimes you sing off key. And please try to work on your singing on key anytime to check the range of your voice. Yeah. Thank you. Your songs are okay. Thank Keep you, it sir. Up. Round of applause for our contestant, panel three. Well, your songs are good. Partially, you apply some dynamics. Even though your confidence level is not that enough on your songs, but they are quite good for you to compose five songs. You need to work on your grip. That is very, very important when you play the guitar. But Michael, so let me tell you the truth. Yes, sir. That will help you. Yes, sir. Number one truth is that you are good. That's Thank you, sir. One. I love your expression. At every round of the challenge, you always find a way to express, use your facial expression to interpret the mood of your music. That is good. But I think we should uh, correct this impression. Most of us think that only beginners play neck region chords. But actually, if you look at it very well, it is more technical to play neck region chords than to play the middle region chords. Why? Because when you play neck region chords, you have a lot of strings resonating at the same time and sustaining for a longer period. So if you're not even careful, the notes which you are just played on string six, which is part of the triad of the chord you have just played, will keep resonating in the next chord, which will not be part of that triad. So I, I really think we should work on this, our play. If you are playing neck region chords, don't think neck region chords are the simplest chords to play. They are not. They are not. And then, you see, in your, I think it was, uh, your round two. Sing now loud, or sing now proud. Brother, sing a new song to the Lord. That's what we say to you. That's what we say. You need to know what we call compositional techniques in music. And then, that's an assignment for you. Yes, sir. And then, you must know your highest 
knows. The highest note, your highest pitch, you must know it in your lowest pitch. You must know it so it helps you, guides you while you are composing. And then in this uh, round two song, you said, sing out loud, sing out proud. You said, you, you, you gave us the melody. You said, uh, some me do, some me lay. And then on that lay, you play the chord one for us. Do you understand which is wrong? You should go back and learn about chord formation. Do you understand? Go back and learn about chord formation. In the primary and secondary chord formation. It will help you so that you don't sing off. You don't sing the wrong notes to the right chord or the wrong chord to the right notes. And then work on your strumming pattern. You must see that is what that is what will carry us. That is what will make us enjoy your playing. Don't just uh, it seems like most of the contestants are trying to play rock music and everything just round, 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 round. Do you understand? And so we, we need to understand the style of music. To a layman, we need to understand the style of music you are doing and not just. Um, moving your hands freely and striking all the strings at the same time. There are other techniques you can use. Do you understand? Yes, you sir. can learn yes, how sir. to do you do finger picking. Other techniques you can use. And then you you are trying to hard dip. You are trying to hard dip at the pitch that is higher than yours. There are other times that you should have applied that techniques. Go and learn. If you learn about compositional techniques, you will see them there. You see articulation, where you can use slurs, accent, staccato, and all those things. So it's important you will know all these things. What makes you a good composer is how you can implement or apply all these compositional techniques to your composition. Don't just receive inspiration and put it down. Say you have five songs. It doesn't work that way. Thanks, sir. So please, I want you to work on these things very, very well. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. A round of applause for our contestants. Wow. I've learned so many things. I'll go and also be looking for those things. I'll go and do my assignment. Panel four, Michael Adeguki. Michael Adeguki. Okay. I like your melody flow. Thank you, ma'am. Um, but you can do better. You can do better. Then you have to work, to work on your dynamics. You are trying to do something, but before you sing something, before you put a form of dynamics in your music, you have to know about it. You have to know the right way to use it before using it. Thank you. So you should work on that. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. A round of applause for our contestant. Now over to our chief, George. Where am I, Kel? Good evening, sir. God bless you. Good evening, sir. I don't want to repeat most of what the judges have said because they are already what I've noted here. But from that, I still discover something. You need to start working on your sense of perceiving musical notes such that you can retain the key on which you want to sing your song. What I mean by that is this. You get to a stage where you are asked to sing. You know what you want to sing. And they give you the key, the tonic key. They give you the chord. And for you to start, you start off, you start on a different key entirely. That could be a big blow. You need to work on it. It's a very potent error that can drowse in the appeal of your audience. You need to be working on that. Of yes, course, sir. you have drive. We are talking about a contestant before that didn't have drive. But now, you've got drive. But you know, imagine you, are, you have the drive and you are driving on a wrong road with a high speed. Did you get that? So, you are singing completely all key and you are singing it with passion. It's a serious matter. So, these are what you need to take 
cognizance of. You need to take cognizance. Of. That drive you have will make you go places. Even in online, online presence, your drive is strongly influential. Please, can you celebrate this boy? Yeah. So, looking at it in the whole challenge, I get to know that you are an influential person. Thank you, sir. All right? You've got that. It's a gift from God. All right? And people may find it easy to like you. Thank but you. that's not enough to sustain that love. All right? So that's why we are trying to pinpoint areas you need to start working on. Oh, fine. Everybody loves you. They want you to come and sing the song. But immediately you hold the mic and they give you a chord. You are singing off key. Even your helpers cannot help at that stage. So that is what you need to... That's the only thing I think... Um, uh, other judges did not talk about that uh, I need to mention here. Please, pick your instrument. What is the greatest lesson you have learned from the Bible? Being humble. Being humble. Being humble. Yes, sir. Wow. And it reflects on you. Thanks, sir. That's great. I think that's a lesson for every one of us. Being humble. Please compose a song with humility or humble. The word humble or humility. It's okay. That's good. Please, can you clap for him? Can you clap for him? Great. Great. I'm sure you have learned from most of what we have said because I was actually expecting that you give yourself a key and sync on a different key. So, but you, you disappointed me. <laughs> so that's a good one. Well done. Thanks, sir. I see you as a high flyer. Whose speed will be faster than the speed of light. Amen. Amen. The Lord will take you there. Amen. God bless you. A round of applause for our contestants as he takes his leave of the stage.